How important for you was to bounce back and build some momentum about the next two road games? And what would you like to carry on from that game? Well, uh, you know, we got a couple tough games coming up on the road. And, uh, you know, this game, um, it was good to have a game like this for sure. But, um, you know, the Clippers are a, a tough team on the road. I don't know if this will necessarily carry over, but uh, it was good to bounce back from the Milwaukee game, uh, play a good defensive game, and um, just allow the, the subs to play, uh, allow to rest some of the starters. So in that sense, it was really good for us. Next question is coming from James Hill with BNC Sports. Coach, uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, back in my day, it was the Coliseum, but the Rose Garden at Moda Center has always been good to the Blazers. Uh, can you talk about just playing well at home and continuing to work hard? Well, you're right. We do uh, the Coliseum. I remember those days. And um, Moda Center, it's been a great, it's a great home court advantage. Obviously, we don't have the fans here, and so we lose a little bit of that. But um, it was um, – from what I understand, it was the largest uh, margin of victory here at Moda Center, so it's good to be a part of that. Um, I think, I don't know what happened, but I think there were some people actually up in the stands tonight, so uh, at least a few people got to see it. So uh, it was good. It was, uh, it was nice to have a night like this. Nice. Uh, you guys actually uh, took care of the basketball. You only had nine turnovers. Uh, OKC had 22. Um, the Blazers really competed, uh, 56 rebounds, and OKC had uh, 46. Uh, can you just talk about controlling the game and getting out and running and, and just taking care of business? You know, I thought our starters – I really liked the demeanor of our starters. Uh, the first quarter, defensively, we got off to a good start. Um, and in the second half, you know, we got off to a good start at the beginning of the second half. So that really set the tone. And then at the end of the first half, we held them, I think, to seven points in the last five minutes. And so we that gave us some momentum going into halftime. So um, in, in a game like this, you know, it's easy to get uh, to let your guard down, uh, to have some lapses. But I thought we stayed pretty focused throughout the game. Jamie Hudson, NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Coach, with games like this, obviously, the young guys get a lot of run. So in that fourth quarter, what would you like what, um, what you saw out of C.J. Ellaby and Harry Giles tonight? Well, what I like most out about uh, with that group is that, you know, we wanted to continue with the defense. Um, we wanted to hold them under 90, and we did a good job with that. So, you know, we've had games uh, in this year, uh, not many, but we've had some games where, uh, that group came, would come in and give up a lot of points. And uh, so I was most pleased with what they did as a group defensively and maintaining the margin that we had. White James, NBC Sports Northwest. Uh, Terry, it seemed like in the third quarter there might have been an emphasis. Was it an emphasis to get the ball inside a little more? It seems like in games like this, it's kind of easy to throw up threes, but there were a lot of points in there for you tonight, something that you don't get on a regular basis maybe. Uh, to be honest, I think we did a good job of just taking what the game gave us. Uh, it wasn't necessarily an emphasis, but um, you know, we more or less ran our same offense, but uh, I thought we did a good job of taking what was there and not trying to overdo things and make things too difficult for us. Sean Hyken, Bleacher Report. Uh, Terry, going back a little bit to what Jamie was uh, asking about, over the course of kind of your time coaching, when you know when you had a game like that where the you know the end of bench guys get to play you know extended amount of time, whether you're on the winning side or the losing side, like how much player development like actually happens in those minutes like what's like what's the value of those reps like like have you like do you like how much do you like see guys like actually get better like in those you know in that time you know honestly I think the, the best part of that is you have you can sit down and watch video with them uh with those players CJ Ellaby can watch his minutes and coaches can talk about what he did during that time on the floor Harry Giles all those guys that don't get a chance to play very much uh they as the game goes, you know, they, they do get out there and play. But I think more importantly, 
watching video with the coaches afterwards and learning from it is uh, probably the best thing as far as developing players in those in those situations. So it basically just like gives you more data to work off of basically. Yeah, uh, I guess data, it's not about the numbers though. I mean, honestly, you know what I mean though, uh, like, like just yeah, more, just more, it, you know, it's, it's a good learning tool.